Well, we came to RMIT as a, as a mobile business back in 2015, and uh, when the opportunity came up to apply for the NAS project, uh, it was really a no-brainer to, to cement ourselves if we could. We want to be part of it because we saw it as a beautiful space and a great place for students to come, and also a great place for us to work. When you do a tender document, often you're not designing to the, the space that you will be given and then they'll say to you, you're successful in tender, but that space you draw to, we're not giving you that, you're gonna get this one, and, and then you have to rethink. So the space uh, Little Bang Espresso was given was a small space. One person could probably stand in there at a time, so I had a strong focus on creating a space that operates outside that little box. When you're dealing with uh, a place like RMIT or a retail precinct or where be a, a big shopping centre, there are strict guidelines and they do often encourage innovation. Um, we were lucky enough where RMIT said, yeah, great, that's your tendency line, but if you want to create this transformer-like space and you want to think outside the box, we'll encourage that. Build outside the box, but make sure once it's all said and done and it's closed for the day, it all goes back in the box. Once we did get approval, it was then about sorting out who was actually going to build it and, and tendering out my document to different builders and, and, and seeing what they come back and how they price it. The problems that I was facing was I was tendering out a document that was still requiring final approval from RMIT because they have quite a lengthy process. But we sort of had to get both balls rolling at the same time even though nothing had green ticks on either side. So that's tough, getting quotes from builders when there are quite a few variables still to come. A lot of our uh, carpentry work and components are, are done off-site. So a lot of the cabinetry can all be knocked up and then brought in uh, on a later date. So our time on site is very minimal. So we're very fortunate to have prefabrication off site and pretty much just bring things in and, and knock it onto the, to the walls there. Economic use of space would be a leader. It is important that not only are you providing enough space for your operations to be undertaken, so your back of house kitchens, all of those sorts of things, you also have to know that every square that you don't utilise properly is, is lost income. The other one is the engaging facade. How do you play into to the design to make sure that you're engaging on all of the front of house facade area to be able to serve your customers and increase your turnover through that? And that's by standing out, that's by having a level of activation of visual engagement through the design of the facade.